All right, what up, my tubers? Daddy's back for another drafty. Just hit number one uh, on stream before I had to call it a day. So we are rank one once again, moving into, well, this draft, I guess. Um, dang it. I hate this card. I just hate this card. Teachings, the, it is a solid card. I just don't like it at all. Now, I'm going to pick it here. It is the best card in the pack. Um, other okay cards. Leech Gauntlet, Specialist. Not too much else, but... I don't know what about this card makes me so upset with it. It's a fine... Like, it's two mana for kind of like two two twos, in a sense. Um... Anyway, yeah, I, I don't know why. I just have, like, a personal hatred of the card, but we will take it. It is the best card there. Get past a Kotose, the Silent Spider. Decent card. I don't... I mean, it's not like a slam dunk or anything. I actually think Imperial Oath is better than it. Uh, but I'm happy to take this, you know, a little bit later on in the draft. Um, yeah, speaking of, Imperial Oath is going to be my choice here. But we do have an Okiba Reckoner Raid is solid. Preserver's decent. And then, like, um, a couple of okay red uncommons, and then the Puzzle Maker, I think. But Imperial Oath has gone way, way, way up up in my pick order, just because you don't tend to see them anymore. Uh, they get taken a lot higher, so I think it's important to pick them up, especially since it's just so splashable anyways, you know. So I can pick that Oath into a very, very easy Spirited Companion. Another one of my favorite commons to pick up in this format. Just... A s so good, so much value, and then uh, you get it back later with like Geothermal Kami, or you buy it back with Season of Renewal, something like that. Spirit uh, Companion has been fantastic. Yeah, not much else in the pack. Synthesizer's good. Puzzle Maker's fine. That's just the easiest companion I've ever seen in my life. Good start. The classic green-white start. I'm sure I'll pick up a few blue cards, maybe a few black cards, maybe a little bit of a red splash. And, uh, baby, we got ourselves a stew. The classic. <clears throat> um, yeah. Don't think there's much to say. It's kind of interesting, the evolution of this format. The beginning of this format was all, like, super aggressive decks. Um, you know, red-black or red-blue predominantly, at least for me. Um, usually of the artifact variety. And then, like a week, <laughs> only a week in, but of course that's however many drafts a week uh, I can get in. Um, but after like the first week or whatever, then it all started shifting into these super uh, dirtily multiple color decks. And wow, what a fourth pick for us here. Holy smokes, I think we just have to go with the Naturalist. Um, it's a little bit too good in what with what we already have, but we're passing an Air of Enlightenment, which this is a card I've come around to liking a little bit. Um, Spirited Companion number two and a Bamboo Grove Archer. I think the Companion and the Grove Archer are um, very, very good, but let's just go with the Naturalist here. Maybe, maybe Era can wheel. Don't think either of these would wheel, but we can hope. Well, that's a great start. Yep. Nice pickup here. There's that Geothermal Kami. Another card that, I mean, I've been saying it tons, that has just gone up, 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 up in my opinion in value. Uh, passing a Tails, a Terminal. But that's just an easy Geo. Great start so far. So the most common card I think I end up splashing in this style of deck is like the um, Spirit Shrieker. Or Gloom, Sh Gloom Shrieker, not Spirit Shrieker. Gloom Shrieker. So if we can find any of those, obviously, um, gets a ton of value when you have some geothermals and whatnot as well. But yeah, this is a fantastic start. All of these cards are cards that I have first picked before. As we get another geothermal Kami here. A lot of people ask why I don't like splashing the hot springs in these style of decks. I just don't think it's high impact enough. Um, usually I'm not trying to kill the opponent super quickly when I draft this style of deck. So yes, it would be a strong card, but I just don't think it does enough here for us. Uh, 
biggest loss by taking this geothermal is the Thornwood Falls. And then safekeeping is always a good play. But uh, not a high priority pickup, so let's pick up a second geothermal. As so we get a Tales of Master Sashiro and a Harmonious Emergence. Both pretty good. I do like the fact that you can tutor for Emergence with Shrine Stewards. But I think the Tales with what we have is just slightly better. We might actually just be going straight up like green-white enchantment aggro. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, though I would like to get some, some ways to kind of grind out. So maybe like one season of renewal at the end of the day. Another spirited companion would be good. That just gives us some, you know, potential redraw value with all of these nice cards. Damn. Good eighth pick too. Oh, Preserver's a fantastic 4-drop, especially since we have that Naturalist, because you can play it on turn 3 off of the Naturalist, but I think I'm going to lean towards the removal spell here. I mean, Intervention is like the lowest tier of removal that we would want. S similar to, like, uh, Master's Rebuke, both of those cards are low tier removal, but I think it's what we're going to take here over the Preserver, or whatever the Naturalist. Leech Gauntlet Wield. I don't think we're going to be running any of these cards. Um, the only way that I would end up running one of these is if I guess I don't get any Fade into Antiquities. Then I would end up running the Lucky Offering, but we're hoping not to have to do that. I, I think that combat trick is fine. I mean, it is at its best in, in this style of deck, I suppose. But uh, I think there are better tricks. Yeah, speaking of, another one there. Better tricks that you can pick up. I guess we'll take it here. Like, I don't care for Seven Tail Mentor. You end up getting a lot of four drops in this format, and I think the Seven Tail Mentor is not one uh, that you want here. Hmm. Don't remember what pack had those green and white cards that we wanted to wheel. I mean, I, again, I don't expect that Spirited Companion to wheel, but there was the Bamboo Grove Archer, I believe, in the same pack. So that would be kind of a solid pickup. Even in a deck like this, I think the Bamboo Grove Archer is definitely worth it. I mean, you have enchantment synergies and whatnot. Um, and it's just a solid, like, defensive creature, even though you're often trying to attack. All right, well, easy here for us. We get a nice little mirror box for some extra gems. <laughs> hmm. All right, I mean, they're going to keep passing me. Like, that's just 40 gems, easy pickups have the full set, so each rare that I pick up during a draft is <laughs> 20 extra gems. Damn. Alright, so we didn't wheel much, but we did get a solid start. Uh, a couple of pseudo-playables in our board. That's a pretty late koi fish, too. Two heavens as one. Opened a grease fang, huh? Yeah, Grease Fang, not so good. Kind of need to take it early and have some good vehicles. And there aren't that many good vehicles in this format. There are some, but not enough to make worth. Uh, sad thing is this pack is just really bad. I guess we're taking Hoverbike here. There are a lot of cards that care about having artifacts and enchantments. So we're going to have the enchantments no problem. But, uh, like, playable artifacts are often hard to find, so Hoverbike's okay. Um, Bearer of Memory is not a super high concern for me. It's a decent card in this deck, but you don't need to take it early. Offending the Moths, similar. I don't really care for that card. It's okay, but I think we'd rather just take the bike here. And get past a... Okay. Sunblade Samurai versus the Season of Renewal. I think getting the first season of renewal is super important. The card is just way too much value to uh, to pass up, and similar to like Imperial Oath, people are taking these a lot higher. So sometimes you don't get the opportunity to get one. Um, so yeah, let's make sure we just get it right now. Oof. Well, it's gonna be one of those decks. Holy crap! This is third pick. Holy. If I could just take this entire pack. And then be done with pack two. I think we'd be okay with that. Turtle, Mendor, Mendor, Mender, Construct, Oath, Tanuki, another Kami, Preserver. That's nuts, but 
Given that we just took Season of Renewal, it's going to be pretty hard for me to pass this Colossal Sky Turtle. And now we can probably try to go a little bit grindier if we really wanted to. This is a crazy pack, though. Oath is nuts, Circuit Mender's nuts, Turtle's nuts, and then plenty of playable green cards there. Wow. As we get... Yeah, this one's kind of bad. I guess we'll take the Tamiyo Safekeeping at this point. I do like the Puzzle Maker quite a bit, but it doesn't look like we're running the uh, the five-color defensive deck that really wants the Puzzle Maker. And Safekeeping is just a solid play. I don't mind the Buna Boseju. I think it's a fine combat trick, but like I mentioned when we first passed the, the Safekeeping earlier, you know, we'll always run that. Okay, now I kind of wish I had taken the other card since we have another Safekeeping here. This pack's pretty bad. Light Pause is garbage. We're not playing two safe capings. Ninja's Kunai is like okay. But not good. I mean, I guess it's removal, which right now I don't actually have any of, so I'll take it. But that, again, super low on my totem pole of cards that I want. A lot of random blue cards going around here. Blue Shrine, Mnemonic Sphere... Dragonfly Suit and Befriending the Moths. Again, not cards I really am looking for in this deck. I could just take one of these top-end cards. But that also seems pretty weak. I guess the highest upside play is just going to be taking the Blue Shrine. We're already planning on splashing the Turtle anyways, and both the Green and the White Shrine are really good on their own, so having a backup Blue Shrine that we can uh, have some extra synergy with would not be terrible. Another blue shrine here, but we'll just take the careful cultivation. These packs have not been very good. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think we've seen like any huge big signal that uh, would push us one way or another. Maybe like the blue-white vehicle deck was open, but... I mean, that's pretty weak. Yeah, well, this is a second mobilizer mech, so I guess maybe the blue-white vehicle deck might have been the way to go. As we get a Bearer of Memory or a Terrarium here. Both solid choices at this point. Uh, let's just take the Terrarium here. There's another Bearer of Memory that could wheel anyways. And I'd rather have the Fixing. As we get a Papercraft Decoy over absolutely nothing. Again, another card I don't even know if I'd want to play anyways there. More Garbage. Puppet does what for us? Puts an extra counter on our tails. Puts an extra counter with the teachings. Weak, 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 weak packs. Yeah, that's a pretty late specialist. I might end up splashing that one. Um, really good with the hover bike, as all ninjutsu are. And it's not like a bad value 3 drop. Sorry, 4 drop. Probably going to play that lucky offering... We have one more pack to go, so I'm not concerned. Pack 1 was great. Pack 2 was really poor. I did pick up a couple good ones here in pack 2, but nothing that would make me go ooh, you know? Okay, we'll take that Buna Boseju now. So what are we looking for in pack 3? A little bit of fixing would be good. A couple of dual lands or a tanuki would be nice. Um, what else? I guess removal? We don't have any arrests. No spinning wheel kicks. Even Tamiyo's completion would be fine on a splash. Actually, the more I look at this deck, the more I'm not super thrilled with it. Where did it all go wrong? Alright, pack three, save me. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. That is quite the card. Definitely worth splashing for. Alright, we'll take it. Uh, it's a third go Shintai of Lost Wisdom. In order to take this Fable, though, I am losing out on a couple really solid choices. The, the first of them being Banishing Slash. Just really good removal. And we've taken a solid number of artifacts for the even chop. Uh, we're also losing out on the completion. So, 
very real downside to taking a red card here, especially since I have no fixing beyond the, uh, the terrarium. But this card is worth splashing for. Um, yeah, we'll take it. Get past another Sky Turtle now. Actually, Swiftwater Cliff's also a fantastic pickup with the Fable, but yeah, I'll go for the Double Turtle. And at this point, we may be... Maybe going like a green-blue baseline here does not look crazy with a splash of white instead. So maybe if we wheel some Puzzle Makers or something. I'll take the second turtle, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see... Or, I mean, regardless of what we end up in, we're going to be just baseline green. So everything else could just be a minor splash, you know? So it could just get like the 04 flying wall in the deck. Something like that. Splash like the Oath and maybe, like I wouldn't splash the Naturalist, but I'd splash the Dog for the Geothermals. Maybe the Removal Spell. As we get a second Imperial Oath here. That versus a Greater Tanuki. Hmm. Greater Tanuki, I think, is a little more important. I would definitely play another Oath, but I think here Tanuki, especially now that we've picked up the Fable, is a better choice. A little bit of fixing, a little bit of ramp. As we get a Repel the Vial or a Shrine Steward, though I only have the one hit for the Shrine Steward right now, so let's take the removal spell. Repel's been really good for me in this format. Super versatile. I guess I won't splash then. The uh, specialist. This looks good. This looks really good to me. I'm hoping to pick up um, one or two more pieces of fixing, be it land or like a terminal or something. Rugged Highlands, yeah, that works. Oh, actually, is Rugged Highlands better than Network Terminal? No, probably not. Because this fixes for all of our colors. I still need a couple playables anyways, and this also ramps. So when I have a bunch of, you know, 7 drop 6, 6, 5, 4, 4, and then the Geothermal Kami is like bouncing something and that I want to replay, I think the ramp is a little bit better. Fang of Shigeki. That's a very late long reach of night. But Fang's good. It's kind of like a one mana removal spell. Buys you a lot of time. Yep, green white splashing a little bit of blue and red looks good to me. Um, so Lucky Offering is going to come back in then because I didn't pick up a single fade into Antiquity. Not great. This is like the third mobilizer mech. Uh, are we running any of these cards? I don't think so. Not even Searchlight Companion makes any sense, right? The weirdest card in this deck right now is probably just this hover bike. I'm guessing we're going to cut that as well if we can find a couple more random playables. Like, I bet you the decoy is, like, slightly better than the hover bike. Good wheels there, dang. Grafted Growth and Blossoming Sands. Oh, no, no, not even a wheel. This is 8th pick. Uh, Yeah, again, I think we want to take the Grafted Growth here over the land. It's because it ramps and it fixes for all of my colors. Mm. We also have two targets for a uh, Shrine Steward now if we get one on the wheel. I don't recall if there were many or any. All right, bunch of unplayables here. This deck is missing just a teeny bit to make it great. Yeah, Swiftwater Cliffs is now okay. Double off color fixer is not terrible. Another rare. <laughs> Add that to my gem collection. Mean with Spirits is okay if we want to run that. Okay. Alright. 
I mean, this deck is probably going to be better than it looks, but still not great. I think I'm just going to end up cutting that hover bike, like I said. And that should give us 17. 23? Could I even shave a land and go like 16 lands here? That's a little bit greedy. Looks good enough, though. All right. So get that Swiftwater Cliffs in as a random off double off color duel. We need like yeah, six white sources, maybe five. Start with five and take a peek. Only need one island. Uh, no swamps necessary. One mountain should be sufficient. And then a lot of green. So let's start with eight green and see what we end up with. Uh, we get one more free land, huh? So is it just another white source that gives me eight green? Uh, yeah, we can go eight, six, one, one, one. It's probably okay. All right. Well, this old Sky Turtle Season of Renewal song and dance that we uh, have come to know and love. Let's go, rank one into the first round of this draft. Matches have thankfully, for the most part, been pairing much faster. A lot of players in Mythic now, so... Hopefully I'm not jinxing it or whatever, but... Uh, we have had some... Non-two-minute pairing times. Maybe I'm just acting like a spoiled brat. <clears throat> but yeah, this deck's good. Again, I think it could have used one or two more removal spells. Um, and then like a Shrine Steward, assuming those removal spells were completion or arrest, but this is alright. Oh, you know what it's missing? It was missing a second companion. This hand is slow, but it's a keep, because Turtle, we can just bounce something on turn two, right? Since we have the Season of Renewal combo already. Like, we're probably going to use the Turtle to bounce something early. Then we're going to ramp and fix with the Tanuki, go grab a Mountain. And then we can start Season of Renewaling value back, so... This is a late game hand, for sure. Draw a Kunai. Guess we run it out. So I'm planning on tapping out the next few turns, so let's just get it on the battlefield. Really good for us that the opponent didn't do anything on the first couple of turns. If they just play a creature here, we might, might bounce it with the turtle. And if they don't, wow, that's fantastic too. Okay. Sure. Fine by me. Golden Tail Disciple. And then miss a land drop, huh? Oh, no, 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 wait. I'm, I'm on the draw, so they did not miss a land drop. Let's go ahead and Fable. Um, we want to equip. I guess we're going to equip here. Instead of uh, holding open the Wanderer's Intervention. I don't really care if they hit me for two. It's going to be a little bit annoying if they have a ninja, but I think I'm okay with that. Terrarium, sure. All right, so no third color from them, it looks like. Hopefully they just put the uh, Terrarium counter on the Golden Tail Disciple. Surprising that they didn't, I guess. Given that I have the kunai. Uh, wow, do I even want to discard anything? I guess the planes is okay to discard because we're about to get a treasure off of the tutu. Hmm. 
Now I'm wondering if I even want to run into a counter. I guess it's okay if they have the... Wait, they must have a crab in their hand, right? That or Wrath. Oh yeah, it could be Farewell that they have as well. Alright, I'll still run it out. Sure. I did get got pretty good by Spell Pierce, but that probably means they don't have the Farewell in their hand. Or maybe they just wanted to deny the Scry 3. Um, our Tamiyo Safekeeping is going to protect our Kiki Jiki, so that's going to be a pretty big problem for them, it seems like. I need to get another enchantment or creature in the graveyard for my uh, Season of Renewal, so I might just turtle bounce something and then... Uh, Buy it back with Season. Oh, okay, maybe they'll mill something for me. Oh, that wasn't it. Let's get a free treasure. I guess we could Sky Turtle back the uh, Imperial Oath then. Intercessor's Arrest. I mean, I could just bounce it with the turtle, but let's go ahead and safe keep our reflection. See if they mill me. They did not, so they have a Tamiyo's Completion in their hand. So if they have a Tamiyo's Completion, we're going to save the turtle then? Because we're going to turtle back our um, safekeeping when they go for completion, and then I can Season of Renewal the turtle and the Tanuki. They let me go to my draw step, though. I am so confused about what's going on. Let's try to shoot their disciple then. Then I'm just going to go teachings of the Kirin and pass. This is all very strange. Maybe they stopped milling me because I'm playing green. That's usually a pretty good thing. I mean, it's actually actively good if they mill me, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to end of turn use the reflection. Because if you do something at the... If you use this ability at the end of the turn, because the creature gets sacrificed at the beginning of the end step, you're already into the next end step. Or rather, you're already past that phase where it would be sacrificed. I should say. All right, let's get three treasures and hit him for a potential six.
I'm just gonna pass. I'm in no rush to do anything. And it does feel like they're maybe on a farewell type nonsense. Obviously, I don't want to give them too much time as well, but... Invoke the winds on my Kiki Jiki. Alright, let's go ahead and return the safekeeping. Oh, did Auto Tapper get me there? I wasn't actually paying attention. Maybe Auto Tapper got me a little bit. Sure. I'm gonna go ahead and just fire this off on their stupid shrine now. And then just pass. <laughs> Alright. So go ahead and let them activate. See what they mill from me. Go for a season. Return. Creature. Enchantment. Make another copy of my reflection. Tanuki, copy Tanuki. Smash and bash. completion. We do not care about that. Oh, a swamp into Naomi. All right, good game. No reason to use Sky Turtle at end of turn cuz we'd have to sack the treasure anyways. So we're not like there's there's no need to do that. We can just do that on our turn. Okay, um, what do we want to get back? Just the kunai win. Or if I play Sky Turtle, make a copy of the Sky Turtle, they block. Block, block. I guess we'll just make a copy of the Trampler, that should be good enough. Alright. GG's, yep, yeah, didn't ever feel like... We were not in control there. I was just trying to play around them having the one card that could potentially get us. And if they did ever farewell, what the game plan was, was going to be to, um, to uh, with all the treasures, get back our Season of Renewal with the Turtle, and then Season of Renewal back the Turtle and the Tanuki, and then just win with those two. Because the Season would eventually go away.
but a 6-5 trample and a 6-5 flyer should have been sufficient unless they uh, ended up top decking some nonsense after the fact. All right, on the play here, this hand is pretty weak, but it's a keeper. Uh, we want to draw what? I guess Spirited Companions probably our best draw, but we have plenty of two drops, which would just be fine. Go ahead and Terrarium for a Mountain next turn. Go ahead and Terrarium for a... Not Mountain next turn. I guess we can wait. Get the tap land out of our hand right now. And it's not very good if we're playing against ninjas. Oh, probably playing against the green black, uh. Green black enchantment deck. Teachings of the Kirin, you were supposed to be there last turn. We milled our dog. That's okay though. We do have the season of renewal to get it back later. They probably have some number of ninjutsu cards here. Circuit Mender now too. Ugh. Do I care more about the flyer, or do I care about them having... The menace creature, I guess. Do we need to grab a second white here? Not really. Do we need to grab another island or mountain? Also, not really. So I guess we'll just grab a second white source instead. Um... Do I want to fire off on their road captain? Or on their flyer? I guess I'd rather kill the road captain. I'm not blocking with my 2-2 on their circuit mender anyways. So we'll just main phase that out. If they have a ninjutsu for the mender, that sucks, but meh. Fang of Shigeki. Ooh, hello friend. It's a nice draw. Yeah, let's go ahead and play that out. Not going to use the Terrarium. Hm. They are missing lands. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to let them hit me. Well, it looks like we can just discard two forests here. Nice, nice. And I think... I think we swing out. Because they, they kind of want to block both of these, so yeah, I'm happy with this. I almost feel like I would like to rebounce my Fable of the Mirror Breaker here. And recast it. I think that's good value. We get another 2-2 that makes a treasure. We also get another uh, re-rummage next turn. You know, hit me for five? This is the first turn that they've had four mana, so they might, uh, yeah, they might get the 5-5 five five online here. Yep, that's exactly what they're doing. Sure. I get a lot of mana next turn. Nice. So I have eight mana currently. We're going to hit him for 8. They're going to block one of my 2-2s. Two I'm going to go ahead and use the intervention. Let them draw a card, but preserve all my creatures. And then I think we want to return the dog and the teachings.
Didn't mill any of our turtles. Sad. Okay, so I get to make a 6-6. Six, six. I'm going to chump with my 1-1. One, one. We almost still have lethal on them. Oh. I do have lethal now, don't I? Right? With the terrarium, I believe that's lethal. If it's not, well then, I guess I'm silly. Alright, I did the math. Grind them out, baby, let's go! Solidify that number one! Mm. Feels a good man. 2-0. Yeah, I've been crushing this format lately. I mean, I guess I was always doing pretty well, but uh, taking a look at my track sheet. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Of the last 10 drafts, this being the 10th, I have trophied 6 of them. That's pretty good. We've increased our overall win rate in the format to just over 65%. I have 44 trophies, which are 7 win runs, out of 119 drafts. So we're shooting 37% trophy rate currently. On the draw versus a turn 1, Kumano faces Kakazan. That is not what you want to see. We kept this hand because we have turn 2 cultivation. That's going to help us ramp out, but oh my lord. Ooh, this is where a Wanderer's Intervention would have been really good. We're taking 5 here on turn 3. Man. Yeah, Intervention there, and we probably can't lose. Well, this feels like it might be over pretty quickly. Alright, especially with that other land draw now. They just kill my Geothermal Kami and we are dead. Yep. GG's. I mean, if you're going to be on the play, that's the kind of hand you want to have. That was a beating. <laughs> Ugh. That hand looked like it was probably going to beat most things. And again, being on the play just exacerbated. Yikes. Turn 1, Kumano. Turn 2, 3-3. Three, three. Turn 3. Hit you for 5. Play a Goro Goro. Turn 4. Kill your 4-3 while pinging you for 2. Shocking you for 2. Hit you for another 7. Also play another Akibo rate. Yeah, I mean... What if we had had Intervention in our hand on turn 2 instead? We kill the 3-3, three, three, they hit me for 2, and they don't have a modified creature, so the Goro Goro doesn't do anything eventually, and they also don't hit me for 2 off of the Kami Flare. I guess that was probably winnable with a removal spell early, but without any removal. Obviously that wasn't close at all. Just a slam dunking. This is fine, everything's fine. Anyways, as I was saying, our trophy rate is getting pretty damn high now. Showcased by that number one rank, baby. Actually, this is a very easy keep. I don't even know why I was so 
So the reason this is such an easy keep is because we have teachings and the turtle, right? Turn two, we get to mill three cards. So if we mill any land, we get to get it back with the uh, turtle later on. Following turn, I should say. Ah, see? And we even drew a Tanuki. Easy peasy. Forest, cultivation, and a swift water cliffs. Swift water cliffs would have been nice, but we do have a mountain in the deck, so we can just cycle the Tanuki here, or whatever channel. Excuse me, the Tanuki. And uh, still cast our Fable on turn. Um, turn four? Although, maybe we want to grab a white source with the Tanuki because we can turtle the Swiftwater Cliffs. And that way, oh, okay. Well, no, that was a blue source. Yeah, we still need red here and white. Interesting. Very interesting. Ah, they have a fable too. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go get red. Nice, drew the planes. We're going to attack for two, see if they trade. Play our own fable. And then probably just bounce their token. So they get a 2-3 flyer, they get to rummage. I mean, I still need to w find a way to deal with their fable. Not loving it. Okay. Lucky offering, huh? I don't think we're discarding any cards here. That doesn't turn into an artifact creature, does it? No. All right. Ugh. Like, I want the tales of Master Sashiro, but... Why does it feel like I just need to find a way to... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and keep the tails. Because we can tails plus lock lucky offering their technician next turn. Mm, not great, though. They get to give their reflection haste if they want to. I don't know. I don't think I was supposed to lucky offering the rabbit battery last turn. It was just too inefficient, right? So much better just to slam the oath. I guess I could have pitched the forest looking for an answer and then just lucky offering the rabbit battery, but it only buys a turn. Yep. Yeah, I guess the rabbit battery's already done its thing now, so let's just target their technician and see what they do. Because they might just let this resolve. They can always copy the vector glider, which is 
basically just as good a blocker here. Sure. That's a really nice block if they go with that. Damn, I was gonna say. Be happy with that. Alright, we still pushed in for a ton of damage. But now it's one reflection versus another. They don't have the scariest cards to copy right now, but then again, nor do I. Oh, all right. I mean, that's not a removal spell, though, so we get our reflection to live another turn. And they didn't have a... Uh... They didn't have a... Uh... Kill spell for my reflection, so we get to attack in here for three. The only way they can kill this is if they double block and I would get to eat the reflection. So, that was not bad for us that that was their best play. So we're going to make a creature at their end of turn, assuming our reflection doesn't die here. Our Tales of Master Sashiro is going to flip next turn for another lethal creature too, and it's going to be hasty. Yeah, we're looking really good. Uh, so what's the best card to copy? I guess we're gonna copy the Kirin Touched Orochi if they don't kill it here. Right? Because it's effectively a 2-2 since I can eat a card, but that gives me the versatility of being able to swap something around. Oh, they're gonna steal it. Nothing I can do about that then. Hmm. I mean, do we still have lethal? We have two five fives. They go block, block, block. They live at one, it looks like. Oh, if they drew a voltage surge, that's really bad. Maybe they're just thinking about moving the rabbit battery. Hopefully that's all they're thinking about. Just moving the battery to the Kirin. Nice, all right. Oh wait, no, we do have lethal. What am I talking about? I'm silly. All right, let's go ahead and activate the terminal. Tap the treasure, see if we can find one more useful card just to solidify our position. None of that. Copy. Yep. GG's. That was a strange game. Two reflections of Kiki Jiki. Nobody had a removal spell for one of them. But fortunately for us, we just had a super wide board. So it looks like paying, playing out that uh, Imperial Oath was, in fact, good after all. <clears throat> On the draw. Ugh. Hopefully we can find a green source here. Oh gosh, green source! Oh! We need a forest next turn. Because Teachings of the Kirins are a really nice blocker versus that mechanic. Otherwise we're going to take 4 damage minimum. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Forest there was big game.
Okay. Oh, good. They bricked. Hidden the rest. Oh, and they're missing lands. All right. Now I'm feeling a little more confident. Teachings of the Kirin. Milled my lucky... Wow, actually milled two good cards versus them. <laughs> it's all right. We do have the Colossal Sky Turtle and... Somewhere in our deck, the Seasons. Actually, we have another... We have two turtles, don't we? Yeah. Okay, can't block. Go to 14. Let's go like this. Making our token a 3-3 here means it blocks the mechanic, and the Fang of Shigeki is good enough versus the Ogre. Oh, no, no, no. Do not mean to attack. Yeesh. We're going to get another 1-1 one, one when the Teachings flips next turn. All right, so they're going to smelt away their Synthesizer and hope to hit a land. Would be my guess. Okay. Sure. Pretty happy with this. Get that crap off the board. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cultivate our naturalist. 3-5 three, three, lifelink here is pretty good, and it also ramps me. We might just run out turtle. I mean, we're probably going to lead with the Tanuki first. But when the opponent... Actually, when the opponent's on three lands, how are they going to deal with turtle that has ward two? Answer, they don't, really. Right? Sure. Yeah, let's... Turtle. We wanted a turtle pre-combat, because if we decide to attack... Okay, I don't care about them bolt searching that. Do I want to use the terrarium right now? Doesn't seem bad. Make this a 4-6. Yeah, why not? 3-5 doesn't attack into those two creatures very well. If they have another arrest... Uh, that's fine. They hit me for 5. I go to 10. A good draw. Two, four, six. Terminal pass. Hold up intervention. Seems like the right move. Let's just kill their 4-1, the most power on the board here. I guess I lose if they have the... Uh, maybe that was a little bit risky if they had the plus 2, plus 0 to all their creatures. Mm. 
Well, they have to chump. This is actually kind of gross. I die to a removal spell, don't I? Hmm. Maybe my attack was a little bit careless. Any way I do it, I die to a removal spell. Yeah, any way I do it, I die to a removal spell. Alright. I also die to them having another cheap artifact by doing this way. This was... I played this really poorly. If they find a way to kill me, I deserve it. Yep. That kills me too. GG's. Oh man. I should not have lost that game. That was really bad. Okay, so on the previous turn, I leave back even just the turtle and we can't lose. Yikes. Yeah. That was just really poor play. Attacking with the lifelinker is 100% right, but attacking with the turtle was so careless. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Not not the previous turn. That I mean on that on that uh, second to last turn I had to had to force them to chump maybe. But I guess I could have not attacked the life linker that turn. Let's see. I'm effectively still at eight. I go block block. Three four five six seven. Yeah. Ah man, I just. I don't know what I was doing. Trying to race them was the only way I could lose. And uh, guess what? I lost. So there are a bunch of different options I could have done there. Um, but I think I chose the, the, the worst of like the three different plays I could have made in like the, the last couple of turn sequences. <laughs> Ay ay ay. This hand is a little bit sketchy. We're on the draw. Our commune needs to dig for something. Hopefully we can find like a dog or a naturalist. Not great finding another land. Our curve doesn't start until turn four and we don't have something to bounce back. That actually really sucks. Because if I was on the play, we'd be able to repel the tribute before they get to steal the rats from me. Ah, this this entire game is going to come back, come down to play versus draw. Feels like brutal. Hmm. Mm-hmm. At least we drew some good ones to bounce back, though. It's gonna have Menace next turn. Yeah. Well, I deserve this, though. Completely threw away the last game. And so if we lose here, this will be our third loss. This is not a... This is not a 3-3 style deck. I think I am going to double block. 
I hate it, but I'm gonna make the play. If they kill the Fang, they get to just eat the Spirited Companion, but I need to I need to hope that this trades here, repel the Echo next turn. Okay. Hope they don't have a big play here. Pass would be great. Mm, that's annoying. Oh, biggest downside of trading away both of my 1-1s one -ones there is that I lose the Geothermal Kami value. Ah, oh, so big. Damn it. Again, if we're on the play, we exile the tribute before they can uh, steal the rats, and so I have two extra 1-1s one -ones versus red-black, which is just huge. We don't need to double block their 3-2 Menace. If that's the case, for starters, I take 6 here. Yeah, feels awful. I mean, I can't, I can't beat them drawing a removal spell anyways, so let's just hope they don't have it. Best case scenario here is we just get a trade here. Alright, sack the synthesizer, hit a brick would be great. That's not the worst case scenario for us. Uh, that's not good. That They're going to make me discard all my cards, though. Yeah, we're going to be a little bit too far behind to stabilize, it feels like. Oh, brutality. Maybe I shouldn't have blo double blocked the 3 2 menace. Maybe that was my mistake this game. So let's block the Song Shaper since it uh, can turn into something scary next turn. Get back our Kami and our companion here, I think. We have another Sky Turtle in the deck, so. Alright, I mean, if they don't draw something this turn, we don't technically die. If they have land, land in their hand. Well, that'll do it. Let's see. Dang it. Even the turtle's brutal here, or rather, even the uh, virus beetle's brutal here. Let's see, if I draw a one or two mana enchantment, I can play it, go back up to four, go block, block, and not, no, I'd still be dead. All right, good beats. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, just being on the play versus on the draw is such a huge difference. But, again, maybe I made a really bad play by double blocking with my, uh... 1-1s one that one turn. 
Oh, all right. Well, uh, you know what? You can't win them all, and sometimes you just punt really badly. I definitely punted really, really badly. So, should have won the second loss, and maybe could have done better on that last game there as well. That's brutal. But you know what? Sometimes these things happen. Sometimes you make mistakes, and you just have to pick up your cards and say, you know, what can you learn from it? So, especially in that second in that second loss where I was like trying to race for some reason the red white deck. Like given what I had in my hand, our deck is so good at grinding out with double turtle and renewal. All I had to do was survive. So if I just don't attack, um, sit back on what we have, there's no way they can kill me, and I just grind them out eventually. And then yeah, in that last game, maybe double blocking with the two one ones on that three two menace might have cost me because we just have two geothermal commies that. Yeah, for sure it cost me, right? Because the, the commies, they gain three life if I had left the enchantments on the battlefield, so it would have uh, negated the attack of the 3-2 anyway, so yeah. Just poor play, but uh, deck was really, really sweet. Thought I drafted pretty well. Uh, would definitely take this deck again, and would expect seven wins with it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. See you back tomorrow. Peace out.